It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute. Freddie Gibbs says Michael Jackson used to beat his daddy's ass in talent shows back in the day. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So Gibbs, who hails from Gary, Indiana, recounted the rivalry during a recent appearance on All the Smoke podcast with Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson. So he said, yeah, Michael Jackson used to beat my daddy ass in the talent shows. My dad, seeing my dad in the shy lights, matter of fact, him and Mike, the same age. So they was always bumping heads in the talent shows. And Mike would fuck that nigga up. I'm like, fuck that nigga. <laughs> That's funny as hell. So Freddie Gibbs said that his father had to face his rival with the full support of the other members of the Jackson Five. And I'm like, you up in there solo, he added? He got Tito Jermaine, they in step. They got moves, they got Joe. You know what I'm saying? They had Joe pushing them niggas. You ain't had nobody. You just had your mama telling you, yes, my baby. Mike had a team, nigga. He couldn't fuck with Mike. <laughs> he continued, I love you, dad. But you know you can't fuck with Mike. Mike was was fucking you up <laughs> your whole life. Um, we be watching Michael Jackson. My dad be like, turn that motherfucking shit off. He be listening to it on the Lodo. That nigga love Mike. So Freddie Gibbs never considered a path in the music business as a um, kid. In fact, he told Barnes and Jackson when he first joined the football team at Ball State University in Indiana, he didn't have much of a plan for the future at all. I walked on to Ball State to play football, really to be honest, and I was trying to go other places, but that shit wasn't working. But I really just wanted to go to school with my friends and keep playing sports. I didn't really have no direction then. Man, I was so young. I ain't know what I, I wanted to do. I definitely didn't plan on ending up being a fucking rapper. He said, I definitely didn't see that shit in the cards for me at the age. I just wanted to play sports, fuck with girls, and smoke weed and shit. It took me a long time to know where I wanted to go in life. I tell you a lot of you guys that shit, shit, I'm probably just now at the age discovering who I truly am and where I want to go. Not just career-wise, but as a man, period. So let me recounter about uh, what's going on. He's funny as hell. <laughs> He's funny as hell talking about the situation with um, his dad and Michael Jackson. I mean, ain't nobody wasn't going to beat Michael Jackson back in the day. You know, with the Jackson 5, you know, they was doing their thing. You know, they, of course they lost a couple of talent shows back in the day when they was traveling, whatever. But that's a part of life. I mean, you know, but they still got blessed to um, be signed to Motown. The Jackson Five. Remember, they went on to Epic. Then Mike went solo and started doing his own thing. But um, <laughs> that's funny. His dad said, "Turn that shit off." Now, as far as him saying, I didn't even know he played football in college. See, this is something that's new to me. That's tight. Freddie Gibbs played football, but um, he's made it as far as a rapper and making his money now and doing his thing. You never know what's gonna happen. You don't know how the cars are um. Are played for you even when you were born as a child you don't know if you go into the nba or the nfl you don't know if you're gonna be a doctor or a scientist or an attorney you don't know if you're gonna own your own business you don't know what you're gonna do you might end up going to college first and then becoming like a producer later in life or you might start off being a rapper to end up being a, a nba owner like things can never you never know how things play out but it's always a blessing in the skies because Every chapter in our life means something. It means something. It's like when one chapter is um, closed, there's another chapter open. You're not going to play in the NBA forever. You're not going to be in college forever. You're not going to be doing the same job forever. Everybody makes their mark somehow when they walk their path. And that's a beautiful thing about this. And so shout out to Freddie Gibbs for being honest about that because I didn't really know where I was going to be. I didn't know. I thought I was going to probably 
I didn't know what I was going to do after college. I thought I was, I knew I was going to graduate high school. That was common sense because I had great grades. I did have great grades. I didn't say good, great grades. Yeah. Um, when I was in high school, but I went to the Navy and look what happened. After the four years, I went back to college. That ain't what he really wasn't in my cards at that time because I was so busy trying to help my ex-girlfriend and her child. So that didn't work out. Um, stop school, hang with the wrong crowd. That wasn't good. Then what happened after that? I started working at Time Warner Cable, which is Spectrum now to some companies or Comcast. I worked there for six and a half, seven years. I got terminated. Okay. I went back to school, got my bachelor's degree in Africana Studies, got my master's degree in religion from Claremont Graduate University. I almost worked on my PhD. They just didn't have enough funding for the UCLA PhD program. It is what it is. I opened up my own business now. My own business that I teach boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA. So that's like a blessing in the skies. I didn't know I was going to have a YouTube channel. You see how things happen? Everything happens for a reason, and you never know. And I'm still learning on the job. I'm still learning myself. I'm still learning how to be a better entrepreneur, how to be a better person when it comes to financial um, literacy, when it comes to savings, when it comes to a better human being, a better um, man. I'm going to be a better, um, as far as a father, when I have children one day. So everything happens for a reason. Post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.